I've got a bivy bag and a tarp and uh, yeah we'll see what happens. The idea was I was gonna summit Rinog Frau and bivy on top of the mountain but the weather doesn't look like it's on my side today. It's about five o'clock now. I've got a few hours until sunset so I don't know how far I'm gonna get but we'll give it a go. Every step in this place could be a hole. You just don't know what you're standing on. As you can see, this is quite hard going. Look what I'm wading through. It is bum deep stuff. Oh man. The thing about the Rinogs is it is proper wildernessy. y there's, uh, there's no one about, which is amazing. It's why I love it. But it's also not a good thing because if that goes wrong, we need help. There isn't anyone about, but yeah. I mean, this is amazing. Look, not a person in sight. The clouds coming in over there. Isn't it beautiful. If my navigation is correct, Groylin Lake is going to be over maybe the next rise. So that would be nice to see that. Look, there it is! <laughs> Yay! Wow, look at that. And look at that weather coming in. Wow. Wow, look, you can see the clouds whipping past. Can you see that? Amazing. Woo. Colors, so beautiful. Look at that. See the sun over there. It's setting over that direction. Well, not setting yet, but it's getting low. Got about an hour and a half of daylight, I reckon. The clouds coming in now, so it's so important here that you know where you are, keep checking your compass because you can't see anything. Hey sheepy! Wow, views. Hi, is that your rock? Yeah, can I come across it? Oh, thanks. anchored it down in a tent top formation with loads of big rocks. Here's my view! Woo. I'm using this rock here to sort of anchor down my doorway. So I'll just take that open for a minute so I can pop my stuff in. Right, let's get in. 
I'm in. It's holding up all right. Got my stuff out, so I'm just gonna get my nice warm clothes on now. There's gonna be hella bad condensation in here because of the lack of ventilation, but for now, we're just keeping the wind off. Oh my God, my boots absolutely drenched. Ugh. Look at this. That's wet socks, baby. Lovely talc. Love talc. Oh, it's so much better. Warm socks on. So stop creepy crawlies and whatnot. Ticks especially. Getting in, just tuck your trousers into your socks. So I've had a quick check over. I don't think there's anything on me. I think I'm gonna put my waterproofs over my trousers as well keep the condensation off my nice dry fluffy trousers too. I have to say this is holding up pretty nice. It's not made any sign of falling down when well, I've been here at least an hour. I've got all this stuff to cook but I don't really want to cook for Chan during here because of the condensation it'll be really really bad and obviously the health risk of setting your tarp on fire <laughs> yeah I've got some bars and some jerky and stuff I think we're gonna have that for tonight love a bit of jerky let's have a quick look at the map parked here at Linquin by Cham and came round alongside Glaulin that's the lake we saw when the clouds cleared it says there's a path here by the way but there isn't there's no path here and then I've sort of headed this direction southeast towards the summit again this is no path you're just making your own way the clouds came in so i haven't had any sight of lindu so hopefully we'll see her in the morning currently we are here as you can see right underneath the summit can right let's get this bed set up hello oh rain's coming That will do. The rain's really coming down now, and I feel so warm and comfy and cozy. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. I don't know if I'll be able to, but um, yeah, I'll give it a go and see you guys in the morning. No. I can't sleep. I just want to cook food, but I refuse to go outside. <laughs> Eat more cereal bars, I suppose. Morning. I actually got a bit of sleep. So that's nice. It's 5am. Still windy. Not raining currently. My baby bag is a little bit sort of wet damp where the condensation has been dripping off the top and the top's kept all the wind and rain off and I'm lovely and dry inside it all so it's worked really well so cozy actually really nice just gonna get my bed folded down and then I have a little peek outside see if we see any sun coming up anywhere which I won't be able to right, let's go see what's occurring then God, nothing very nice. Oh, wow, it's like a different world out here. I've come outside, so I'm gonna filter some water like yesterday and try and cook something. I hate white house. They make me nervous, even though I know. Realistically, I can navigate my way. Don't like them. So I'm hoping it's going to clear, but if not, it is what it is. I'm going to finish my coffee and then I think I'm going to start packing up. Did want to just nip up to the official summit can because it's right there. It's just a little scramble and it's there. 
but the visibility is so poor um i think if it's not cleared up a bit by the time i'm ready to leave i'm just going to leave it because i won't be able to see anything anyway i don't really want to scramble in this visibility it's slippy as well it'd just be an ego thing at this point wouldn't it so i'm not fussed to be honest i'm just going to start slowly making my way down oh coffee is so good isn't it so here's how my crazy little tarp tent stood up to it all pretty good and the summit is up there i don't fancy it in this right let's get this down now thank you paul Goodbye, shelter. Whew. Onwards. Just heather and rocks everywhere and holes. Oh my god, you know, it would be really easy to freak out up here. I'm checking my um, sort of location every, probably every 100 meters actually, just to make sure I'm still going in the right direction and making slow progress like a granny, poking my way down, but I'm getting there. Woo! Oh my god. Right, that's where we're going. Oh, God. Yay, there's the lake! Alright guys, I'm nearly down now. What an amazing trip it's been. I didn't get my sunset or my bivy at the top under the stars or my beautiful sunrise or a cloud inversion, but it's still been amazing. As always, the Rinogs has really tested me. It's tested my navigation skills, it's tested my tarp making skills, and it's tested my resolve. It's just such a wild, rugged, beautiful and unforgiving place. So definitely get those navigation skills up to scratch and come give it a visit because there just aren't many places like this in the UK. It really is something else. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And thank you so much for 30K subs. I genuinely can't believe that. And I love that you guys love watching my videos, hopefully as much as I love making them. So thank you, and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Hi, guys. It's two weeks later, and I'm back at the Reynolds and Renafau in good visibility. And I found the little spot that I was camping at for this video. So I thought I'd show you, now that you can see the views, what it looked like.